Polish winger Peter Czechowski threatened the Motherwell goal in the third minute. Dykstra saw it late, but the ball flew past in any case. But when you're bottom of the league, you tend to find mistakes get punished severely. Stephen Frail knows all about that. His wayward header starting the move, which gave Motherwell the lead. Coyne's touch was vital. O'Donnell's finish clinical. Duffy and Blake directing their anger at Frail in no uncertain terms. But Dundee hit back. Frail starting the move, feeding John McQuillan, who was given time to cross. And Dragutin Ristich held off Krivokovic to head home the equaliser. The home side took heart and almost went ahead when Pittman hit the byline. He then laid the ball back to Chahowski, who tried to outthink Dykstra and almost succeeded. So it looked as if Dundee were coming more and more into this match. And just when they thought they were in the driving seat, Motherwell hit them with a classic counter-attack. Phil O'Donnell at the heart of it all. Playing a 1-2 with Coyne, with a bit of help from Noel Blake, and then a touch of class with the finish. There was almost a freak third for Motherwell. Dykstra with the wind-assisted punt up field, which almost deceived Mathers. It was still end-to-end -end stuff typified by events when Billy Dodd sent Steve Pittman through and his shot was saved by Dykstra. A good effort from him though. From the kick out, Coyne flicked on for Kirk, who chipped over Mathers and onto the crossbar. Dykstra came to Motherwell's rescue again. John McQuillan breaking clear, but the Dutch keeper did well. When they find their touch, Motherwell moved the ball well. Lambert the linchpin, linking with Kirk and Coyne, but Mathers did well to cut out the cross and keep it at 2-1 at half-time. A bit less in the way of goal-mouth action in the second half. Dundee still displaying that tendency to gift chances to the opposition. Watch for Blake's clearing header, far from decisive, Coyne's first time shot dealt with by Mathers. Then a penalty for Motherwell. Coyne allowed to run at the defence, slipping the ball in for O'Donnell. Verto cut right across him, although it's doubtful if O'Donnell would have made it, but the penalty was given all the same. No doubt Dundee feel aggrieved about that one. Tommy Coyne stepped up to net his fifth goal in three games. 